Hi, it's Stella from Ipul University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Front of Allegoria from Spielwerks. With the queen lying on her deathbed, the four houses of Allegoria are fighting to claim the throne. The game plays 2 to 4 players, with mechanics such as secret unit deployment, action points allowance, and split and draft. The game is of medium to heavy complexity. In Throne of Allegoria, players are competing to have the most points by mainly fulfilling secret objectives and be advanced in different skill tracks. At the start of each round, one player at a time places their numbered tokens face down one at a time. When everyone has placed their tokens, all tokens get revealed and resolved. High total number goes first in turn order and gets two instead of one action point for action associated with that space. You can try to get more cards that move one of your five tracks or get secret objectives cards, getting more wealth or knowledge or moving and actioning your soldiers, spies or merchants. The game goes for six rounds and at the end of the sixth round, the player with the most in-game and end-game points wins. There are a few things going on on the board. It seems like an area control game, but it actually isn't. You can deploy your soldiers to either your battleground or neutral ground or your opponent's ground. Each costs more action points to move, but the benefit you get is better the further away your soldiers are. The same goes for spies and merchants. Advancing your own tracks give you more points, but you can also reversing the tracks to give you more action points with the possibility of getting anarchy cubes and these cubes work a bit like corruptions in Lords of Water Deeps, Scoundrels and Skullports expansion. There are ways to return them to common area, but the more are taken collectively, the more negative points they're worth. I like the secret deployment part. There are tokens that worth zero. This can fool opponents when used. You can also stack the tokens up to three, trying to gain a higher number for majority. The game doesn't overstay its welcome, although it has die roll in combat actions, and for me it doesn't feel Euro gameish. It has interesting combined mechanics and many ways you can score points, making it quite replayable. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mipo University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.